We've been very good to your country, very good. No other country has done as much as we have. But you know what? I don't see much reciprocity here. I hear what you want. I have a favor I want from you, though. And I'm going to say this only seven times, so you better listen good. I want you to make up dirt on my political opponent, understand lots of it. On this and on that, I'm going to put you in touch with people, not just any people. I'm going to put you in touch with Attorney General of the United States, my Attorney General, Bill Barr. He's got the whole weight of the American law enforcement behind him. Putting words into it that did not exist, they're not in the transcript. And I will contend that those were intentionally not clear, and the chairman described it as parody, and I don't believe that this is the time or the place for parody when we are trying to seek facts. Nor do those that were involved with the conversation agree with the parody that the chairman gave us. My summary of the president's call was meant to be at least part in parody. The fact that that's not clear is a separate problem uh, in and of itself. Uh, of course, the president never said, um, if, I, uh, if you don't understand me, I'm going to say it seven more times. And unfortunately today, many innocent Americans are going to turn on their TV and the media is only going to show that section of what the chairman had to say. But I'm also glad to know that many Americans have seen this movie too many times and they're tired of it. How would it run in all the mainstream media outlets? How did they get, even though they got a lot of it wrong, but they had the basics of it, that it involved the, the president of the United States talking to a foreign leader. So did anybody, you or anybody in your office, leak this to the Washington Post or NBC News? Ranking member, I lead the intelligence community. We know how to keep a secret. Uh, as far as how that got into the press, I really do not know, sir. I just know that it's all over the place, and as you said, it's been reported by different uh, uh, media for the past several weeks. Where they get their information from, I don't know. Of course, Democrats on this very committee negotiated with people who they thought were Ukrainians in order to obtain nude pictures of Trump. Director, you don't believe the whistleblower is a political hack, do you? I don't know who the whistleblower is, Mr. Chairman. To be honest with you, I've done my utmost to make sure that I protect his anonymity. That doesn't sound like much of a defense of the whistleblower here, someone you found did everything right. You don't believe the whistleblower is a political hack, do you, Director? I believe that, as I said before, Mr. Chairman, I believe the whistleblower are, is are operating in good faith. Well, then, they couldn't, be, the then law. They, they couldn't be in good faith if they were acting as a political hack, could they? That Can you request. assure the American public that the end result will be that the whistleblower will be able to come before this committee and Congress and have the full protections of the whistleblower. After all, what is the whistleblower uh, a, a statue for, if not to provide those full protections against retaliation, against litigation? Congresswoman, I am doing everything to endeavor to support that.